right, let's get to work. So anyway, um, I was invited here to beautiful New Jersey, or a warehouse in beautiful New Jersey to visit a certain audio company. And it's not air conditioned in this space, but um, you might know them as the Coney Audio. Oh, fuck. Oh, Lord, it's better in here. Child labor laws, cool, cool. Child labor is the best kind of labor because they're so small, they get their hands in everything. Um, that's a lot of Fostex. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. I don't get paid for unboxings. This is where I want to sit. Affiliate link can buy something, maybe. But like most of the time, this channel runs on fumes. <sighs> anyway, here's your waifu, which I'll probably try to find later. And um, wow, this is weird. This is meta as hell. They're gonna use this footage somewhere on the Dakoni YouTube channel, which is linked in the description. And so I came here yesterday and I walked around the office. If you wanna check out the office tour, I reviewed everyone's office desk setups. And that was such an abysmal, <laughs> fucking abysmal experience that I'm like, look, you're Dakoni. You have headphones lining the walls. You have pads. You, uh, Digital DJ gear was nice enough to throw all these different amps and sources here and speakers can we make a thing so I've, I've literally spent the whole day on saturday making this little area look at this look at how cute this is we've got yamaha hs7s i've got a t like a 12 inch aoc monitor which doesn't matter fostex hpa4 which i also have the uh 4bl over here but i was like mm, mm, mm. i got a bunch of stuff i'm actually gonna make an unboxing video if you don't follow my unboxing channel Check out the unboxing video where I'm going to unbox this, including two other uh, Fostex TH900s. They literally have, what colors are they? White and the brand new one, purple. <sighs> There's a white and purple Fostex TH900s. I'm going to unbox live. Well, live for me, re-recorded for you. I should have done a live stream. But um, so I said, look, you guys have no good place to listen to music or listen to headphones. Like everything here is basically office work and technical and orders and shipping. And it's like, where do you go to like chill? And they're like, um, home. So I'm like, no, 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 Here. So I was donated the jankiest computer. I swear to God, watch the video on the other channel about that computer. The motherboard is 90 degrees off. You have to plug inside. Go watch that. It's going to probably blue screen at some point. But um, stole a monitor from someone's desk, stole the chair from someone's desk, stole the computer from the floor, got a bunch of carpet squares from the warehouse. For, I don't even know who they are. Could be some other warehouse. Could be some other person. I don't know. I took them. We caught them. I cut them beautifully. I did this nice layout. I got, we got these uh, sonic fiber stands. Um, I think that, um, uh, what's it called, scent? Digital DJ Gear scent? Which, look, they're leveled. Even though the desk is a level, they're leveled. So the, the, we got two different Yamaha colors, um, black on the left, white on the right. And uh, they had this shelf, and look at this. Oh, I just pulled these off the shelves. They weren't even using them. They're just looking at them and going, yeah, we made pads for those. I'm like, well, you need a, you need a thing. Oh, by the way, these little lights, I'm, I'm holding them up with just endless Dakoni pads. Did you want to see the coolest thing ever? Oh. How much you figure this box is worth retail? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could pay off half my house with this based on the volume alone. So yeah, get your Dakoni tips linked in the description. So some lights, some Fostex gear, a drop THX789, which was the only amplifier they had like for testing in the shop. And I'm like, I'll help you out with that. I'll help them out. Stopping, APO, someone send them things. I've got this Scarlet Solo because we got this CAD microphone on a, on a Sonic Fiber stand. So I really made this like this is as good as I can get without the computer being thrown in the trash and a new one made. Oh, don't forget the Dakoni Blues. Oh, and this, if you recognize this, that's the insert from one of the hero cases. These are the hero cases, right? Or are these the saviors? No, the saviors is this. Yep. Which, uh, yeah, if you don't know about the savior headphone case, it can also be used to hold your camera. So there's that. Probably, yeah, just, just trust me on that. If you need a camera case, get a savior. Anyway, so I've got the Hero thing there with the Fostex. I've got the Fostex. With the Fostex is actually plugged into the Dakoni Blue. And then the Fostex is plugged into the Drop. And then, so that's dacking that. And then this is dacking 
these speakers, which I think Quobuzz is installed, which I can't play much Quobuzz because why is Frozen the extended club mix playing? Do I like this? Yeah, so now they actually have a, because I mean, one of the employees here, Dylan, who's not currently here, and I could shit on him while he's not here, right? That's great, great, great. <laughs> um, has a small set of Yamahas on his, on his desk. They're plugged into nothing. They're there for looks, and I'm just like, oh my God, so I had to do this. So now we have working speakers. This is what Zeus was able to cobble together in about five and a half hours. This was filled with pallets and dirty things. We extended the desks and we, we, the lid is here and we've got some soft padding on the walls and it's like, ah. So if you're interested in this setup, come visit Deconi. Can, can people stop by? Just, just, just stop by, right, anytime? I'll just tell you they're in New Jersey. So if you're near New Jersey, just show up. They'll love it. Just start banging on the door violently. They love that stuff. So anyway, I got here, I've been reviewing and playing with all their new toys and gadgets and all this stuff I'm gonna unbox. But really, if you wanna see where the, where the depths of Dakoni are, it's not here, this is far, far too Zeos. In fact, let's go back to the uh, fl Flamingo Waifu. I'm never gonna find that, I'm never gonna find that. Anyway, so you guys, what the hell, look. This is not a headphone stand. What's he doing? He's so serious about this. Anyway, what headphones are these? Oh my God, the advanced. Wait, are those the gaming ones? Did you make pads for those? So they're just here. Peter's a good friend of mine. He sent me two sets uh, for when I, like at the beginning of the pandemic when we had to start doing Zoom meetings. Oh. Meetings. oh. He sent me one because I had a microphone. I didn't have anything I had a microphone. Oh, there you go. See, he's just uh, So anyway, if you, the unboxing stuff doesn't end with just the stuff you see here, which is like the Head Amp 6, which is a big headphone amplifier. And we've got the, uh, the Podmaster, the Vocaster 1. I mean, you guys are sending me home with a couple of these things, right? To, to yeah, yeah, they were like, they was like, hey, DJ Gear, DJ Gear says, take this stuff and, and do your worst. So the MCaster Live, a lot of podcasting stuff's getting up in popularity. I'm gonna touch that. Um, they have, you guys obviously have like infinite Fostex stuff here because you make every pad for Fostex. Is there a, a Fostex thing you don't make a pad for? You make it for the 900s. I put the pads in the 900s myself. 20, 40, 50, 900. I think the TR 70, 90 uses the same pads as well. So oh, God. Wait, where's the trash? Yeah, it's trash. Oh, but here's the good ones. There's the good ones, the 40s. Those were the 50s. No one wants those. Yeah, the number one seller. Fungul. No, 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 no 50s. Um, and here are the Made in Japan, the TH900 Mark II. One of these is purple and one of these is white. So I'm gonna unbox those. We walk down. I, I, took, I posted this on my um, Instagram because this is the box of orphaned ear pads. And it's kind of the saddest thing I've ever fucking seen. Like, it's just like, but like there's two greens, so they're, they're together. So wouldn't that mean you could officially like give them to someone? Like put these in a donation box on Christmas time. You made those for St. Patty's Day. Oh, that's right. They were red and blue. Red and blue was uh, Christmas and Hanukkah, and then you know, the green was actually St. Patty's Day. And Irish people don't like headphones? And we sold a bunch, but, and then we made a, a sample pack where you could have all three colors. Wow. RGB. Did you sell it as the RGB pack? We did. And then it didn't sell out? Not yet. All right, we'll get there. Wait, uh, th there's questions here that are only answered in the other video. Don't don't come to this video for the answers here. But anyway, look at this wall. Because I have a headphone wall, but my wall, my wall is a prideful wall, a wall of like things I absolutely love. And this is just the wall of like, yeah, we make pads for that. F it, throw it on the wall. Apparently these are the most popular um, for racing pits. Like you guys are like really getting into like, oh, you what are you what are you in the racing pits? You like in the pits? What are you filming me? You paparazzi? The, the time with the paparazzi. I'm, I'm paparazziing you because you, you didn't get to run away this time. But no, the time wizard is actually a professional racer. He's on the Honda team. I just want to say because I have a lot of audience that's not America. This is what our pizza boxes look like sometimes. This is going to be super interesting to them. But that's seeing God bless America now. The, the cheese has congealed to the point where it won't come off of the, uh, oh God. Yeah, I'm gonna finish that later. Well, and again, if you want the, t that's nice. If you want the tour of this office, I do that on the second channel, which is the, the sound demo channel, but now it's the second channel. Anyway, that's linked in the description. And you guys are prepping to go to? Can't you have SoCal? And so am I. 
I'm going to Cam Jim SoCal. Slightly sponsored by Deconi Audio. Happy to help. He's going to pay for one plane ticket, and everyone else has to run across the country. <laughs> but that's going to be fun. So yeah, you guys are setting up a pretty, you're doing a double table, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be wild. Um, that and that. And I, I wanted to show these off, because people who have them into the shows don't know these exist. And these are the hemorrhoid pads for sitting on them for your butt. Why are you filming me? Stop <laughs> filming me. It's weirding me out. This is, what it, this is what it feels like for everyone else around me? God. Exactly. I must be the most annoying person. Anyway, so no, these are their demo pads that show like the different textures and densities. Actually, do your foam densities change per pad? Or is it basically the same, just different coverings? So Elite and Choice Series are identical foam inside each pad. Like the actual foam itself is the same. Mm -hmm. I cut the same way. Now the thickness of that foam is different for different types of pads. And the angle at which the, the edges are cut is different. This is the tree. This is a tree of life. Wait a second. Is this the Aria? I like the Aria, but maybe they'd be even better with Dakoni pads. I don't know. Actually, those are the pads I have on my Anandas, and it improved them greatly. So I, I can't knock. I can't knock Arias until I've heard them with the Dakoni stuff. Here's the stuff I brought because um, Dylan had said he really wanted to use the Rebel amp, which is the um, the Ukrainian amp. Which they're, I think they're still making the Ukrainian amp. If you haven't heard of the Rebel amp, go look back at that thing. Um, but yeah, I brought a couple things to show off to them because I'm like, hey, you guys. I said it more like, like um, what's his name from the Goonies? I was, hey, you guys, you want to try anything? And I was like, you got to hear these because uh, these are like okay. Have you felt these? Feel free to touch that. Give that a poke. It's like it's there, but it's not like like this is. It's comfortable enough, and these are some of the best headphones. I love these. So maybe one of these pads and the hundreds and hundreds of pads. Well, that's a refrigerator, but hundreds of pads might be able to make these more comfortable and still as amazing. Um, also, and no one here had heard the 40s, because you guys do the 30s, right? You do the Porta Pros, and the actually no, you got to announce that, right? That's coming out. Yes. That's a big deal. Um, these. These are the KPH 40s, and they're using Dakoni foams, not Yaxis, because Yaxi was the only one that made it. But they're for the Porta Pros, but they'll also fit the KPH 40s. And these black ones are basically the type of foam that doesn't allow water. Like water doesn't, like I sweat in these things, and like a very little bit. Usually the other ones absorb it like a sponge. And this is some sort of wild, crazy, wacky foam. So I brought those so they could hear them. So I had two of those. And then I've got, I brought the Shelly Dac and the, oh, the uh, discreet, A90 discreet to show off because you guys have a couple uh, okay testing amps. You got the, actually, no, you got the crazy big ICANN here from IFI and you've got Amadeus and you've got that eight channel amplifier and there's some 30s over there. Actually, are those your pads in the 30s? Yeah, that's gotta be. Wow. I don't think I've ever actually tried the 30 pads. Now I have to, to do because these feel like the same foam as the 40s same, that I have in that. Yeah, same one. Same pad. Wow. 30, 40, and 40. I was always like a put a put the great old giant mofos on there. Mm. Ooh, look. Frequency oh. response graphs. Do you use these as placemats when you have pizza and stuff? Because that's what I would use them for. We're going to now sell them on the website as, as, as a placemats. Placemats, yeah. If you're an audio file, you need to cone audio. I placemats. was a kid. We always had placemats. My mother was like, you're going to make a mess. Put on a placemat. That would be like if you have the Coney, uh, if you have DT 1990 sheepskins. Oh, do you want me to talk about the Hyphenman collab? Because sure. that's almost done, right? Dylan says it's almost done. Yeah, Dylan, Dylan, Dylan's, that, that office is the Dylan office. Office, I say with many air quotes. And um, apparently this, which is based on the cup of the R7DX, but not the headband, right? There's a different headband. But then your pads and then all sorts of wild tuning. He's been, I know he's been hammering at it. Cause I was, this, we were at, these were at Chicago and he wasn't quite happy with them. Now he's getting closer. So I'm gonna plug these in a little later after I'm done with this video and give my opinion on it and then some drill holes and everything. So you'll have the Dakoni Blue. Which other collaborations do you guys have? So it's just the two, there's Dakoni Blue, and now we have the Dakoni uh, Hi-Fi Man that's in process right now. We're hoping to have that released. That's a very long name. You know why you can't call it the blue? Because all your colors are blue. So you made it Dakoni Blue. You didn't make it the Dakoni Fostex Blue, because then this could have been the Dakoni Hi-Fi Man Blue, but now it's the Dakoni, this is in process, because we're still working on the Hi-Fi Man name. Yeah, we're, we're figuring out what it's going to be called. But If you guys want to give su suggestions, suggestions, there yeah, you go. Hey, suggestions. That's Jersey. 
Is that Jersey? Hey. The jerseys. The jerseys. You have jersey pads. That'll yes, get confusing. Yes, yes. That's way too confusing. Anyway, if you want to name the, because they're not using the same driver as the R70X, right? It's using something else. Secret, secret, wink, wink drivers. So they're not R70X. They're a completely different headphone and they're closed back, which actually, you guys ever think about making an open back headphone? We have yeah. the, the Fostex Blue Mod is a semi-open headphone. Well, that's not, that's not open, that's not open. Why is it Christmas over here, guys? It's Christmas all the time. Yeah. Did you just tell me to go fuck myself? Yeah, free stuff. I don't think These guys are really cool, they're really shy though. You were such a shy little bunch of, oh God, he's pulling it out. <laughs> You see that 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 actually isn't his office. This is his office. That's that's his office. And again, if you want to see what's behind these, you have to go to the second channel video because I don't want to bring it up. Anyway, um, I think this has been cool. I think people, if you don't know Dakoni, that's basically him. But then it's everyone else also like helps. I'm, I'm Dakoni Roni. Dakoni Roni. Oh wait, you have the Rona? No, you don't. Oh, Mexican like macaroni. Yeah. This is getting filmed thing. It's really weirding me out. I'm so weirded out. Now you know how I feel. Yeah, well, I mean, but you're supposed to feel that way. Look at this real equipment. Could you imagine if I actually did real videos, how insane it would be? I'd have to film it and then edit it. Oh, I am also, am I, I'm testing a lav mic here. Yep. Um, who, whose lav mic is this? This is the CAD Podmaster uh, Lav Max. I love when they put the word Max in something. And it's a relatively affordable one and they have me recording with it for their video which I'm definitely not going to be in most of it, but they could splice my audio in either from the GoPro or from this, so you can know what that sounds like. And I might get into doing lav mics. I feel like those are the most usable. Like desktop microphones, like all oh, the carpet fell down. Again? And the computer's not <laughs> Did it fall asleep? Oh, it just fell asleep. Oh no, it looks like it crashed and restarted. Anyway, yeah, no, th that's a fucking nightmare. Watch the video on that, on the setup of this desk. I've got to try to get some more glue. Here are those, um, oh yeah, oh yeah. Look, these are not Yaxi pads. These are Dakoni pads. These are Dakoni pads on Porta Pros, which will also work on KPH40s, but there's different densities. So I really got to do a shoot up between the two to see what they sound like. I got to get more cost stuff. So yeah, no, uh, go, go order yourself. Would you sell like this? Would you put this on like, please? Put this on the website and just make it the actual value of it because it's got to be millions of dollars. And just see if someone wants it because I could tell you, putting my hand in this, I'm assuming they're not selling any. These are just for my personal use. So yeah, that means I could just be like, oh my God. Oh Dylan, my God. Dylan does put those in his ear because he uses those for testing. Right? Well, I don't care about Dylan's ears, but let me just tell you, just squeezing like, this is like $250 worth of, had to be more, had to be more. Like, oh my God. It's like, you remember um, Dar uh, uh, DuckTales when sure. Scrooge McDuck dove into his gold? Yeah. Do you have that at home but ear tips and pads? I have Disney Plus so I can watch that anytime I want. No, I mean, he does. <laughs> he, he's, he's, he's avoiding the question. Anyway, I'm going to take home this D the Coney uh, mouse pad. Um, I can't, th that Aki keyboard, that's sad that they don't make that on, that's not on Amazon anymore. Um, you're also a star of a lot of uh, memes that are around the office, but some of them have dicks, literally dicks photoshopped on you, so I'm gonna avoid looking at those. <laughs> but yeah, you. if you wanna see more content that I filmed here at Dakoni, um, check out the video where I review offices, uh, the setup of this desk, which sucks, cause it's fucking, the tape won't stay, and then the computer, which I was literally like, it almost broke my soul. But yeah, no, I think I made a nice little, little uh, enjoyable area, which, let me, let me end this on some Quobas. Oh, it didn't restart. It just went to sleep. So here, what do we want to play? Discover. Um, Franklin Gothic, perfect. I don't know who that is. Copyright infringement in three, two, one. Sounds like Christmas. It is Christmas, I think it's Christmas. I don't know what broke. I don't like Quobas. Do you like Quobas? They've always been cool to us at those all the shows. I, I mean, them a lot. I can never find the exact song I'm looking for. What do you guys think about Quobas? What's your favorite streaming service? We've got Quobas, we've got Tidal, we've got Spotify, Amazon Music. I actually like Amazon Music quite a lot. Cause when, but the thing is I want all their stuff in HD. Cause then I look at it and if, like, if it's not ultra HD and it's only HD, I'm like, eh. so I don't know, that's just me. Anyway, tell me about the names of the headphones. Tell me about that. Don't forget to check out Tacony's website. Big thank you to Digital DJ Gear for sending out some of the stuff to fill in the gaps. 
because there's no point in having just headphone pads. You need headphones and you need the speakers and the amps and the things like that. So I'll link to them. And um, I stole this chair from, from back there. This was the cool chair from over there. He's probably gonna want that back, isn't he? That's a shame. Anyway, so check out that, check out them. See you all at SoCal Can Jam. I'm assuming this video is gonna come up before then. Um, Patreon and Subscribestar support this channel. They actually paid for the gas. You didn't pay for my gas. And I drove my black car here and that's like 14 miles to the gallon. So if you like to pay for my gas so I can travel to places like this in beautiful New Jersey. Um, Patreon and Subscribestar, $5 a month let you see reviews like this early. Participate in yard sales. Oh God, I'm gonna fall through. Um, check out the other channel. Uh, participate in yard sales. Listen to lots of sound demos. $10 a month gets you in the private behind the scenes Telegram chat, which those people know because I've been sending video bubbles to them today and yesterday that I'm here already and they're like, oh, ask this question, oh, ask this question. So if I'm ever in a place where like the boss man can answer the question and you want to know it, join my $10 tier, get into that chat, and then I will ask the boss man, hey, um, are you ever going to make uh, a pad for like, I don't know, what's the shittiest headphone I could think of? Oh, like, like pink cat ear headphones. I mean... Like those, those terrible, like the ones that the girls that are on, um, what's it called, use all the time. They're definitely not in there anymore. They got moved. Where are the cat ears? I saw them. You can't hide from me. You can't hide from me. And it's probably wearing them again. Where are the cat ear headphones, you sons of bitch? This video is about to end. Oh, there it is. Put them on. Put them on. No, you put them on. This is you. You own most of this business. Just, just for the record, tile, tile at one point wore. Yes. That doesn't make it any better. Yeah, those are wearing Dakoni pads, by the way. So are you happy about this? You happy with the, the company has gone with this so far? All right, if you want to check out Dakoni, check out their website. There will be hot, hot streamer girls wearing these headphones with Dakoni pads. If you're watching on streamers, don't forget to tell them, reach out, Dakoni pads. Now available for your terrible, terrible cat headphones. And um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video and whatever else. And maybe we'll go to Kentucky. Any good places like in Kentucky? I want to go there. This good fried chicken, and I want to review audio gear. Anyway, I'm out. I'm going to run to this door and leave. You can't stop me. No one can stop me. No one can stop me.